there's a lot of people, a lot of family offices, hedge funds, um, private, you know, private, you know, high net worth, uh, high net worth individuals that are interested in purchasing crypto to diversify their portfolio. Um, but they don't want to hold um, coins. They don't want to have a wallet, a Bitcoin wallet on their cell phone. They don't want to have a Bitcoin wallet on their, on their computer where they feel it's going to crash. They want to be able to have a certificate or a paper saying, I have rights to this amount of Bitcoin or this amount of a basket of coins. And they're willing to do that. Now, so what Token Suisse basically does is it creates a certificate. That certificate requires at least a $1 million of capital in order to be executed. That certificate is then um, backed or insured by a company that ensures that the company does its job to protect it so that they have coins and ownership. So they would have cold storage solutions and all that stuff in order to make sure that those coins are in safekeeping. So Token Suisse would be in charge of going to an exchange or a private uh, network to acquire those, um, those coins. So if somebody came in and went into Token Suisse and they said, I want to buy $10 million versus, uh, worth of Bitcoin, a certificate would be issued. Let's assume that there is none right now. Uh, a certificate would be created and then that person would literally go and send in $10 million worth of, you know, a fiat. It could be francs, it could be euros. I mean, this, this Token Suisse can accept really any currency. And then they would basically issue a contract, which is a certificate, send it to this client, says you have rights to this much. They finalize what the price is that they're able to achieve on this. And then basically that person would have the certificate. Token Suisse would go out to the open market, start buying the Bitcoins, and then finalize a certain price. Token Suisse also can charge fees for, for this type of service. They can charge uh, a yearly fee, an entry fee, and an exit fee, just like Coinbase does. This isn't something that's not part of the industry it's it's actually something that's been that's that's been happening right anytime you buy bitcoin you get charged a fee and every time you sell or you convert bitcoin back to fiat you actually get charged a fee in fact it's one and a half percent 